What's up Internet, Dice Quirk here, and today I'm going to be teaching you how to do a Japanese self-introduction, or Jiko Shokai. And it's a very important part of Japanese culture. Uh, people will do it when they enter new jobs, when they're introduced to a new group of people, just all the time. So, this is definitely something you want to learn. Now, before I get started, I just want to say that in this video, I'm going to be teaching the most basic format for a Jiko Shokai. And I'll tell you some other things that you can add to it, but in this video, I'm only going to be teaching the language for the basic introduction. So, let's not waste time and let's get to it. Like I mentioned before, Jiko Shokai are a very important part of Japanese culture. And although you might feel awkward giving a Jiko Shokai, it actually is seen as kind of normal uh, over here in Japan. And they might find it a little bit you know, just kind of awkward as well, but it's just such an ingrained part of the culture that everybody expects it. So, uh, whether you're going into a new workplace, whether you are meeting a new group of people, or whether you are going to be working with kids like I am, uh, you're definitely going to want to learn this. Uh, I've already had to give it like 30 to 40 times uh, in the first week and a half that I've been here. Let's start off with the first part of your Jiko Shokai. Uh, it's going to be the word Hajime mashite. Hajime mashite. Now, that last portion, it should be shite, but in Japanese, those two uh, characters are usually slurred together when it's at the end of a sentence, or just in most periods where it's like right next to each other. So, this means greetings, or nice to meet you. And this will come at the very beginning of your self-introduction. And when you do it, you want to make sure that you give a small bow. So, hajime mashite. You're going to follow that sentence with the next phrase, Watashi wa blank des. Now, this is going to be telling the other person your name. So, in my case, I would say, Watashi wa fodaisu timushi, timoshi des. And in your case, uh, if you don't know what your name is in Japanese, then I'm going to be including a link in the description of this video that should help you be able to discern what your name would look like in Japanese. Now, it's not perfect, but it definitely will help. So, make sure you check that out. And again, it's Watashi wa, that means I am, and then Fodaisu Timoshi, or whatever your name is, des. And des is just like shite in the last sentence. Uh, des is at the end of most sentences in Japanese, and because it's so frequent, the Japanese have uh, kind of just shortened it to des instead of desu. So make sure you say des. It sounds very weird if you say desu. Now, the third phrase that you're going to want to learn is dozo yoroshiku onegaishimasu. And just like I did there, you're going to always give a little bow when you say this phrase. Now, dozo yoroshiku onegaishimasu is actually kind of hard to translate in Japan or in English. Um, it kind of literally translates to please treat me favorably, but it kind of can be seen as another uh, it was very nice to meet you or it's very nice to meet you. And you could say yoroshiku onegaishimasu, but adding that dozo actually makes it even more polite. So if it's going to be your first time introducing yourself, you probably want to make sure you say the full phrase dozo yoroshiku Onegaishimasu. So the whole thing together is Hajime mashite. Watashi wa fodaisu timoshi desu. Dozo yoroshiku onegaishimasu. And then you're done. And that's the most basic form. Now, if you wanted to add more, like for me, I'm talking with a lot of children right now because I'm in the JET program. So I have to add just a little bit more fun stuff in there. So I say my age right after I say my name. So I would say Watashi wa fodaisu timu desu. And then I would say, Watashi wa niju hachisai desu. Which just means I'm 28. Uh, in addition, after that, I'll say, America jin desu. I am an American. And then I would also probably add something like, Watashi no shumi wa boreboru to uh, hikingu desu. Uh, Nintendo ga suki desu. You know, something like that. Uh, basically, I said my hobbies are volleyball and hiking. And I like Nintendo. Uh, so, <laughs> that's some stuff that you would add in there as well. You could also say what your favorite food is or your favorite color. Now, most of the time, after you've learned that first set of phrases, if you can learn a couple extra things to add into your Jiko Shokai, that is really good. Because 
in Japan, again, remember this is very normal, and when you go into a new workplace or you meet new people, saying those extra things is only going to help them know some different things to talk to you or talk with you about. So if I say Nintendo ga suki desu, they're going to be like, oh, like, did you play Metroid Dread? Or, you know, they'll have some things that might be common interests and it'll definitely help us、uh, with a conversation. So, those were just a couple tips. And if you have any questions about the entire phrase, you know, from Hajime Mashite all the way to Dozo Yoroshiku Onegai Shimasu, or even some of the extra phrases, feel free to leave a comment. I would love to hear your Jiko Shokai in the comments if you can type it out. And also,、um, Yeah, if you have any other questions about the channel or anything else, you can definitely leave those down there. If you found the video helpful, or if you, you know, like my videos, you could like or subscribe. So I can't wait to see you guys, and、uh, the next video will be coming out real soon. So make sure you are ready for that. See you guys later. Dice Quirk out.